Hello, um, this is Kendall Parks. I'm here I'm watching the, uh, the Jazz and the Nuggets. Anyways, I want to talk about Pedro Strope. He got signed to the Reds today. And it's a, a little locally in Cincinnati, it's a at least it's just not your Twitter. It's just not your Reds fan Twitter or sports fan Twitter. It's just not sports fan Twitter. is um, it's, ha- it's having m- mixed reactions because of the fact that he has said something to, I think he had hit Yasiel Plea with a baseball last year. In the game, he had hit him and said something like, please needs to grow up and all that. And call him un- unprofessional. And a lot of, a lot of Reds fans didn't like that. A lot of Reds fans didn't like that, so. Um. Yeah, it's so it's a it's a it's a misreaction because of that, but overall I do think that the that the move the move um, it's good, but as far as like getting the fans on his side, he's gonna have to save like fifty three games or something. That's what he's gonna have to do. So, and it ends in the championship and him saving, or maybe he doesn't have to save, you know, it's going to have to end end in a championship or him just saving over 50 or 40 games before they, uh, Get get all excited about him because of uh, that situation, and we go see. It is a, a, a nice again. It is a nice move. It is a nice move. Uh, they they did all, all all they could with the bats. They they announced that they they not going to trade Sinzel. Which I'm pretty happy about. I, I did like him coming up um, last year. So we 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 just got to see. They got um, they they signed Nick um, Castellano. I think I think that's how you say his last name. We just signed him the other day. Um, Nick uh, Mike Mustakis. We signed him a couple of months ago, or last month, I don't remember. We signed him. The Reds are going for it. They, they saying we're going to win. We're going to at least try to win a real, real Series. And I thought they did that last year as well, not, not, not as far as the World Series. I think they're they trying to go for the real Series this year. But... I think they at least was trying to go to the playoffs last year. Or, um, at the time when when they already had Pleague and they got Matt Kemp. But things didn't it didn't register. Now let's let's go to the other Cincinnati team. The Bengals. Dan Pitcher is the new Quarterback coach. Uh, I I don't know much about him, but you know, a lot of times us as as um, as fans, we 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 just want the 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 name. Yeah, I never heard of him before, but he he, he was apparently a quarterback coach somewhere else, and did a good job. Um, uh, a, a lot of 
a lot, a lot of people around the NFL do do like this move. So we go see. You know, I again, I think the Bengals are going to get Joe Burrow. It's, it's, it's interesting because Tua's agent came came out and said that he hopes that um, Joe Burrow doesn't get drafted by the Bengals. I mean, um, Tua doesn't get drafted by the Bengals. It's, that, that was Tua agent that said that it's interesting because he actually represented, I think, some number one. I don't know if Kajana Carter was one of them, but I, I yeah, yeah, he, I, I think he was the, the the number one pick that he, he was the being was picked that the uh, that that this agent represented, and then he also represented Kelly Smith, so he, he he's dealt with the Bengals before. But we don't look. You could say you could say that, but we hope that they, they don't draft tour either because if they draft anybody but Burrow, the city is on flames. Like they got um, yellow and purple um, all over Cincinnati. Um, like uh, 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 some something that says Cincinnati and uh, and purple and yellow, purple and gold, LSU colors. Like we we want to, we want the being to drag Joe Burrow. To, we don't want him to take them to take two. It ain't this ain't September. Before Tua got hurt, everybody, including me, was on the tank for Tua. But I, I really do love this Burrow dude and Chad Johnson. He spoke out about the, about the Bengals. He said that he said like us, like the Bengals are saying the right things so again. The Bengals are saying the right thing. They're doing their due diligence. We don't want them. Them as an, we may want them to, to to come out and say, yeah, yeah we go come come and get your bro. But if they do that, they they won't be doing their due diligence. They gotta excuse me, they gotta figure everything out before they just settle on Joe Burrow. Uh, you gotta you gotta play the game. Okay, how many picks you gonna give us? Blah 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 blah. It's it's, it's these picks great enough. For Great enough for us to pick over Joe Burrow. Andy Dalton is gone. Like, if you listen to the way they talking about him, um, um, Duke Tobin talked about him, um, and in the interview last week with, with um, I don't know how to say her last name, but I'm, I'm bad with last names sometimes. Um, Marissa. Who's one of the Bengals reporters? Um, she interviewed him, and um, Duke Tobin, and he he sounded like um, and Dalton was on his way out. Like they they are going to trade and Dalton, or at least they can't cut him. They got to they gotta get some offensive line for him or something. So we go. We just go figure, figure that out. <laughs> Maybe you go get Kyle Long, trade, trade for Kyle Long. That's an offensive uh, lineman. They, they, they have to. It, it probably won't happen, but they have to do. Um, unbingle like things as far as going after them, after people in free agency. You know, I, I'm not, I'm not getting my hopes up. 
But I'm just saying they have to do it. Um, as you guys see, I got, I got the new fresh cut. You know what I'm saying? Fresh. Um, also, what you gonna do with AJ Green? Him and Mission coming up. Well, he's coming up this year. AJ is. You know what I'm saying? But next year it will be Joe Mission. So, you know, we all see about that. You know, Joe Mission has been a top AFC player running back. So, it's, 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 it's interesting, you know? But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy at the Bengals. So we got to. We got to get a lot of linebackers in. We got to look at some linebackers in free agency because I don't want to depend on another linebacker uh, in the trash. Even though I do like this class. Like, you got to die out there. You got um, a dude from Oklahoma. Uh, What's his name? I've been saying his name. Kenneth Murray. Yeah, Ken, Kenneth Murray. I, I do I, I do like him, but we, we need some tight end. We all know I can go be back. We we'll got to see. So look, you can't you can't just draft your borough and then the team is completed. No. He's, at the end of the day he's a rookie. We we got to Temporal our expectations of this year coming up. I don't. I don't believe that the Bengals are gonna be stupid enough to pass on Joe Burrow. No, they got the number one pick. He was the highest trophy winner, and everybody's talking positive about him in the Bengals organization. Or if we pass people from the Bengals organization, or people like. Like like Chad Johnson or people like Carlos Dunlap just yesterday, just last night or something, he said that um they only pro what, what what was his name? Uh, they played together at, at Ohio State. Um, Sam, yeah, he I think he was the Bengals only pro bowler, but. They played together at Ohio State, and um, they are together. Him and Joe Burrow are together in Miami. Um, let, let, let me know in the comments who, who, who it is that I'm, that I'm forgetting. But, you know, keep, keep the uh, subscribers coming. I, I saw one earlier today keep the subscribers coming I want, I want to be on here more consistently and all that because I'm, I'm happy just to share my make sure you also follow my podcast well follow me personally underscore Mr. Parts on Twitter and Instagram if you have both of those but also follow my podcast on Twitter it's underscore Kendall and on Instagram Killing it with Kendall. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's going to be a fun time in Cincinnati. Ho- hopefully with, with, with um, football as, as well as baseball. And hell, even basketball with the Bearcats in college. Um, I'm not too concerned with Xavier because I'm, I'm not the biggest Xavier fan ever. But... Make sure you uh, follow me on all those things. Uh, I've been busy with some other stuff, but I'm, I'm ready to get going and make make a career out of this broadcasting thing. Make sure you tune in. To Make sure y'all tune into my podcast. You no, know, killing it with Kendall Parts. You can find it on iTunes. Cause I know 
iTunes and Spotify or all your favorite platforms, but mainly iTunes. Go to go go to go to Apple or iTunes, whatever you call it, and follow, follow me on there. Subscribe and rate. Well, it's a lot of great content, especially especially for for sports. But we also talk music and politics sometimes. Make sure to follow me. I mean, make sure to follow our podcast. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Recom- recommend it a lot. You know, y'all, y'all gotta, y'all can't just listen to it. Y'all, y'all gotta do y'all part to make to make this thing more global. Cause I'm not selling it for average. I want to be the best, and I want to be at the top. I'm just going through the journey right now. All right, so thank you. God bless. Hug your loved ones. Uh, we didn't even get to Kobe Bryant or you know. um, everybody's talking about retiring. Both of his numbers, eight and twenty-four. And that's that's good. Paul Pierce time I run twenty-four for the rest of this, this year though. Or maybe the rest of his career because that that's that actually that's the number he came in with with the uh with the Pacers, so number twenty-four. So we'll keep an eye on that. Again, make sure to subscribe and rate. Make sure to recommend the podcast. All right, this is killing it. I mean, this is um getting the parts on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment. Uh, let me know what you you have to, what you think about my opinions. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Again, t- tomorrow is not promised. Let's all pray. Hug your loved ones. Because today is so today could be our last day on the earth. Act like it. Never take anything for granted. Goodbye.